You guys wake up breathing in the smell of dust and decay. Uh, you look at the walls, you're all in the same room and the walls are kind of stained and they're just, it looks like at one point there was uh, paint that's flaked off of the, the walls. Uh, it seems to be a very high ceiling affair. The furniture, if you want to call it that, looks like they got it from a fourth hand place after it had been used in a couple of crimes and stuff like that. Um, you can hear street sounds outside. Yeah. Okay. Judging by the street sounds, uh, you're somewhere where they use a lot of horses in the shed. Horses are pretty distinctive. Let's uh, take a look out the window. Uh, you eventually go find a room that has a window in it, and you seem to be in uh, gothic. Uh, you're not even sure where you are yet, but I, you eventually uh, uh, can spot a statue of Lady Rittenhouse uh, in Town Square, and there's a tram stop. And when I say tram, I, of course, mean the horse-drawn type of tram. Right. Who's uh, who's written house? Uh, Lady Gunfighter, apparently from the Old West. Oh. Lady written house. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing we're on the east side. Oh yeah. Let me get my maps. <laughs> Looking for Ray Lady written house. No, no, we're not on the east side. Yeah. If you want to leave this building, I will tell you about the building and stuff uh, and give you more clues as to where you are. Ah, Rittenhouse Row. Yes, that's where you are. He looks, <laughs> he thinks about it for a long time and goes, ah, I don't know. Copper shop called Crate and Barrel, Vets Hospital, Public Hospital, The White Peacock. Yes, I, after, uh, well, eventually after exploring around, you discover you are in the White Peacock, which is, uh, a, according to a hand-painted sign, been renamed the White Dove. <clears throat> it seems to be a huge old stately building that has its own theater in it, and I'm not talking movies here, I mean like theater stage, uh, complete with like a pit and stuff like that. And as you guys are exploring around this creepy ass old building that you woke up in, uh, you guys catch a glimpse of something on the stage. It looked like a woman, uh, kind of transparent, and you only saw her for a little bit, and then it kind of faded away. Uh, everybody give me a small sandy roll toward the ghost. Yeah. Fail. I, I, I'm not going to try to be mysterious about it because you guys have seen Alex Kinley jump out at you often enough to know what a fucking ghost looks like. Those those who make it, it's zero because it could have just been a trick of your eyes. Those who fail, roll a d6. It's a ghost and it's not Alex Kinley. Oh, yes. 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 Light, light and free. Wow. What the smurf? All right. Okay. That's it. I've got the smurf insanity. That's wow. it. It's happened. Go ahead and roll your willpower times three there as the little ghost thing pushes you over the edge. Unfortunately, uh, this... Yeah, that pushed me over the edge. Uh, <laughs> fight, flight. Ghost, right, I, he, I take off out of the... No problem. He runs away. And you hear the front door, uh, cr or, uh, str give me a strength roll, Russ. I'm curious to see how you exit the building. Uh, looks like Kool-Aid man to me. Uh, oh, yeah. it's not regular strength, Moon. No problem. Uh, the doors are fortunately very weak. There's the comedic, uh, Russ hole in the thing, you know, it's, yeah. So it looks, it looks like, uh, it's been neatly punched out in his body. It's not 
too logical, but he goes running down the street uh, screaming about ghosts and stuff like that. People on the streets try to ignore him and get on with their day. They've got important shit to do. So you two are standing there in the theater <laughs> looking at each other. It appears there's a lot of rooms in here, creepy back rooms, uh, all, all kinds of stuff like that. Yep. Definitely important shit to do, Dana. Sounds good. Bye, Rock. I wave to the <laughs> Eventually, Rock gets control of himself, the porn stash uh, pulling him back to Earth. Um, it, the, the ends of it ground him to the Earth, and he, he can return if he wishes, or go start up that emu farm he's always wanted. <laughs> I return to the front door of the house, but I do not go back in. No problem. So, our notes say this building is currently unused. Oh, could you move the mic away from your mouth a little bit there, Scott? Um, our notes say the building is currently unused. More? More? Oh, it doesn't go any farther. Just break it off and set it on the air side room. No. <laughs> Maybe up here. Oh yeah, better. Maybe okay. if you speak out of one side of your mouth. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so what's going on? See. <laughs> um. So, I assume this doesn't look like a a hotel or anything. What's? what's yeah, going you're on? not sure what's what's up with that. Uh, there is a note. On the on the remains of the front door that uh, the rock finds it when he comes back, and it says uh, uh, that it is currently property of somebody named Joshua McKay. Uh, cool. We'll just live here now. <laughs> <laughs> I write a note and I pin it to the broken door. I said, Rock says he's sorry. <laughs> I get on my interventional phone and leave a text for Josh that there's a smurf in his, um, in his smurf. <laughs> Was that doohickey? Does that tell you that you're unhealthy? I've seen watches like that that tell you that you're unhealthy. Um, no, no. Um, this is, um, well, we should go back into the house and talk about this. Come Deal. on in. Okay. <laughs> They're both standing in the house. You're the only one outside, so you smurf back into the house, and you you come to the sad realization as you cross the threshold of the door. It, it, you you realize that unless you can get a very specific acting <laughs> job, your movie career is over. <laughs> And by very specific, I mean, of course, working for the Smurfs, in which case you're going with their lines anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, you're, you're, you're thinking that uh, there's not a lot of uh, movies you can get hired, and it's like you're playing the bad guy, and you're like, so what's the Smurfing deal here? <laughs> they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> can replace Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. So, you guys are all together in one of the rooms. There are many rooms in here. Uh, yeah, it's it's dusty and horrible in here. Um, you notice that some of the rats have formed a small gang and stuff, and they're looking at you warily, like trying to figure out if you're encroaching on their territory or not and what they should do about it. Okay. The cockroaches have formed a labor union. Cute little animals. Uh, this right here, this right here on my wrist is the interdimensional Smurf, and um, 
we're going to have to go back to Smurf Town and get you some. Oh. Okay. So that we can all uh, talk to each other throughout the uh, multi Smurfs. <laughs> That's smurftastic. Not you too. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I want to. I'm, I'm going to like claim a room here and clean it up and put my name in it. Probably the one I woke up in, unless I didn't wake up in a bedroom. Yeah, you guys kind of woke up in like a, a meeting room thing, all <clears throat> sitting in different chairs and stuff. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different bedrooms. All you'd need is some cleaning supplies, um, brooms, mops, maybe a couple liters of gasoline, some matches, <laughs> uh, you know, the usual. This place, hey, by the way, th this place, you're thinking with a uh, little bit of gas and matches, it would probably end up lighting on fire super well. Yes, Russ. Uh, do I remember what I did with the illegal mobile? The illegal mobile. Yes, from, from Red Carpet. The, the highly illegal vehicle with the highly illegal things in the trunk. No. <laughs> you look around. It's not here <laughs> with you. Oh, damn. Hmm. Okay. Awkward. It shows the police with it. Mm. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you want to go out and buy a bunch of cleaning supplies? Do you have any money on you? Or by clean, do you mean go up and go, eh, good enough. Um, Plus, you're not sure if your privacy will be respected or not, because you're not sure, unless you claim the shittiest room, in which case people might let you keep that, as opposed to moving your shit out of it and then claiming the clean room, which... It might end up happening as you play some sort of reverse uh, uh, ring around the rosy or the chair game and stuff. Yeah. I, I think the best way to claim a room in this place might just be to pee on the wall, man. Ooh. That's a card well, for us. You try that, and I'll try my way, and we'll see which one works. <laughs> Next <scene>. um, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, check in essence. Drawing down... Um, so, it's the gold and silver money here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got money. I'll buy some. I'll buy a broom and a mop or whatever. Yeah, you, you buy various cleaning shit. Say uh, four four silvers, and you've got uh, like uh, yeah, you can you can become a cleaning woman. Uh, Nobody watched that movie? Fine. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> no, no, Logan, we once again have missed your obscure references. <sighs> Sorry. All right. Great movie. I choose a middling value bedroom and clean it. All right. No problem. What are you two doing while he's in there? Uh, uh, Singing the cleaning song or whatever. I'm singing the Smurf song. Okay. Cleaning <laughs> Lord. Uh, actually, give me give me a. Uh, I was trying to imagine. Uh, give me a janitorial role there. Uh, you know how you do. <laughs> cleaning lore. No janitorial, because yeah. cleaning lore would be knowing about different stuff that's good for cleaning, but you don't know. You just bought a bunch of shit and. Your role. So you're you're doing as best you can. It's going to be habitable, but it's not going to be like beautiful. Now so, remember, uh, if you blow your roll, you fill your room with chlorine gas and die. Hmm. Hey, Sheila, where are you doing? Uh, one of one of your party members is obsessively cleaning. The other one is singing the happy Smurf song. What are you up to? I'm with neither. I have uh, noticed through practical experience that any place that we try to set up camp in is destroyed or we never see it again. <laughs> yep. So I am enthralled with finally some non-robotic uh, wildlife and I'm trying to study the social structure of the rat gangs. 
see if there's any, you know, Rat King, if they have colors. Sure. Uh, what, what skill would you like to use in order to uh, uh, make this all happen? I have no idea. Great. Give, me a, give me a roll and learn. If you make it, we'll figure it out. Otherwise, we'll just assume. Duology? That, uh, well, yeah, but oh, I, uh, anthropological zoology is what she's calling for here. Or no, is it uh, not anthropology? No, yeah, it is anthropology, not archaeology. So anthropological zoology is what she's attempting. A anthropomorphic. Mm. All right. She's basically sitting there playing with the diseased and crusted yeah. rats. Yeah, I am. I got learn cool. it for. <laughs> cool. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's happening. Um, right. Wow. Uh, is, you guys get done now with your Smurf song, with your cleaning. Okay, I say we go to Clem's Barber Shop. Hop on over to uh, the Western Zone. Oh, I put my name on the door. All right, Glenn. Let me go. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to put a different name. No. Glenn, you should probably do a different name in case somebody has it out for you. you should be like not Glenn. Somebody much tougher than Glenn. <laughs> It's always people out for the other party that just go after us incidentally. By the way, it's clean inside, but um, in order to make it into a bedroom, like you're going to need, uh, well, you could sleep on the pile of trash that's vaguely bed shaped in there and such, but buying a I bunch of it. furniture and stuff like, well, okay, clean trash. I, but eventually you're going to need to buy like furniture and stuff, but you're not sure if, you know, this will still exist when you come back. It's up yeah. to you if you want to. Yeah. We'll uh, yeah. Okay. We're not going to get there, Glenn. Not today. <laughs> See if it's still there next time. That'll be fun. Hooray. Find an optimist. Cut to smoking ruin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quite possibly, it's it's hard to tell. Um, yeah, so um, hmm. yeah, uh, give me appraisal rolls, everybody. Nope, nope. Maybe, but probably not. No. A bunch of money would be needed to fix this place up to the lowest possible level of fixing up. Uh, more money than I think any of you are willing to put into it right now. But there are different levels of how good it can get, and you're not even close to putting in the first level. So, uh, right, you guys are, are you wanting to go somewhere else now, or... I was going to yeah. take us to Clem's Barber Shop and then take us to the Australian Embassy and pick up some of those phones for uh, Glenn and Dana. Great. Cut to you are at the Australian Embassy. Kid comes out and goes, Hello, my name is Alex Kinley Jr. Let me give you a hug. I back away. <laughs> like I do no. with all small children. <laughs> no, no, no. We, no touchy. No touchy. Eh, he sighs. He looks at the two elvish kids who are now in the terrible teens, uh, like 15, 16, something like that. They shrug, and they, one of them says something in Latin to him, and uh, the kid shrugs back. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you guys uh, pick up uh, your interdimensional phones. Uh, it's a wrist phone thing. Uh, with the right stuff, you can have it project on the wall and then even type on the wall because the screen is too goddamn small. So pretty much you, you, all you really need is a flat surface in order to operate this. Okay. That's pretty cool. It is super cool. There's also a message board that The Rock shows you where uh, you can now go on the... Uh, the uh, uh, ATAW boards and leave uh, angry messages for people wondering why you're part of their latest snatch and grab attempt, etc. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Glenn can complain to a larger audience. <laughs> exactly. I, can everybody give me an electronics roll? Made it. I think that might be a crit. Yes. 
Hmm. Okay. With your, all right. Got it. With your successes, you guys uh, note that uh, uh, the, it's it's secure, but only uh, against devices that are not uh, one of these. Russ, with your crit, you're thinking if anybody else or anything else gets hold of one of these, then they're going to pretty much be able to monitor your communications. Right. Hmm. But it, lost. But, um, I'm sorry, Smurf. You know, if anybody, if anybody Smurfs one of these, we're really Smurfed. Oh, they don't self-destruct. No. Who did we? Who are we getting these from? Just in case. <laughs> That's a great uh, question. I'm gonna give her a card for that because. Most people don't bother to ask these things. Papa Smurf. <laughs> I don't know if that's the real answer or not, Rock. You're going to have to pantomime. Um, okay. But you can still do that acting. You could still, like, be un, you know. I want, I I want, Russ, to do the, I want Russ to do the pantomiming because this is much more fun for us. Yeah, you know, I don't, hmm. A hat. So that's every Smurf. <laughs> he smokes a pipe. Smokey. Smokey the Smurf. He plays a violin. Oh, you don't know who it is. It's Sherlock it's Holmes. Papa. It's, Sh it's Sherlock Holmes. Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. We okay. did watch that movie. We did have to watch the Sherlock Gnomes. Oh. <laughs> Re reduce your hand one more, Sheila, because you know you you got lots of cards. Does anyone want a card? What is it? Uh, I have a critical card. I have a. You have the it's a crit card? It's a crit card? Yeah. You want to get rid of that? Well, maybe oh. one of you guys have luckier dice. I, I, I will. You don't, wait, if, it, if it's the it's a crit card, you don't need to roll for that. If yeah. it's the it's a crit card, that's that's I'm, kind of like a guarantee. I'm feeling but, generous. We're a team, right, guys? You're not going right. to use it against Okay, me. well, I will trade you a skill plus 10 for it's a crit. That's I'll like a free spell. A skill plus 5. As soon as we get to the bargaining works, Glenn. You're just going to throw it away. I think I'm not going to throw it away. I think you need to accept your, your trade there. You got to throw away that. something. Yeah, I'm not going to throw that one away. That's why I'm offering it, dude. Yeah, okay. All right. It's crit. All right. I'm being nice, Glenn. Have you, have you seen okay. that before? Okay, so now the first thing we do is we go to sleep and get our magic points back. <laughs> do we want to sleep in your Smurf village? Right. Zena had an excellent question mm -hmm. about it's been ignored. where these are procured <laughs> and how do we corner the market. Was that a fumble, Russ? No, that was me rolling uh, a skill up because oh. once again I forgot to check my spell sheet hmm. when I was doing skill ups last time. And well, as Dana's words get further and further from everybody's mind, it's almost like it's being magically sucked out. Let me give you some flavor text about the embassy so we can put that uh, intelligent thought to rest. So you guys are. <laughs> Beautiful embassy. There's like uh, various beast-headed guards and such that are there. Um, they they uh, they seem to get along okay with the the uh, three kids that run the place for some reason. Um, there's uh, of course uh, the foul-mouthed bird and the talking uh, fire salamander that live there as well. And each of you is given their own room. It's 
pretty nice. It's like th this is not stinking of dust. This is like clean daily uh, sheets aired and stuff like that. Uh, there's plenty of different kinds of alcohol here. There's uh, yeah, it's just opulent. And they're like, do you need uh, one of the the eldest girl goes? Do you need any additional supplies? No, I uh, I'm Smurfy. Hi, Smurfy, she says. Does anybody else need additional supplies? <laughs> no, thank you. All right. She says, well, if you need anything, uh, she assigns uh, somebody who will kind of keep in the area. It's an uh, owl-headed guy. And uh, she says, just contact uh, this gentleman if you, if you need anything else. Uh, and she goes back about her duties and such. So. They, they appear, appear to run a pretty tight ship here. Uh, there's plenty of good food, good drink, and stuff like that. And by now, uh, Dana Zul's words are almost a memory. Yes. You let the intelligence I, slip away from your mind. Just right. We, we got them from the sad, we got them from the sad robot. Uh, you know the sad robot? Yes. The deals in tech? Uh -huh. Yeah, the sad robot has like a slew of interdimensional phones, and apparently we thought they were bracelets, because, you know, look, they look like bracelets, so. Oh, yeah. Um, so. Very distinctive. Very distinctive, I might put in. We buy them all, or destroy them? Um, no, we didn't buy them all, I don't think. Did we buy them all, Logan? Uh, no, plus uh, I believe it can get more in stock, it said. So. <laughs> no, no, anybody can buy these for a scrap of wire. I think you found the mystery, the mystery flaw in our plan. Yeah. Awkward. I will put in a message about this flaw into the phone, put it on the boards. Yeah. You guys sit there in a nice plush meeting room with the overstuffed wingback chairs, eyeing each other suspiciously while eating. Hmm. So, Rock, you also have to pantomime Smurf. <laughs> it's no. more than just a verbal tick. <laughs> No, it's just that if I if I if I suddenly get Smurfy and can't Smurf something to you, then I will have to sign it out to you. <laughs> but um, I, I had a moment of clarity there when I said it was the sad robot. So it, it's not constant. I'm not <laughs> always Smurfed on here. Um, but why why did you say it was Sherlock Holmes? Uh, well, oh oh um, yeah. Um, um, because he's Smurfy. <laughs> I enjoy unreliable narrators. All right. <laughs> That's great. No, no, you cannot, you cannot interrogate me and suddenly get something more than Smurf uh, if I've decided something is Smurfed. <laughs> uh, you could always use interpretive dance as well. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go for a check and dance. I will right. try it again. Can we, can we see can we see an example of uh, your interpretive dances? No, no, sad no, robot that would that, that would dance. that would involve ripping my headphones off of my head and and all sorts of ugly things. So. You could do a sad sad robot dance. <laughs> that's, that's a given. <laughs> No, somehow I managed to find a moment of clarity to tell you that we we bought them off the small. The, the, <laughs> me, me and Papa Smurf bought them off of the um, uh, the sad robot. Yeah. All right. Did you buy them in the cyberpunk world or the other world? Uh, red carpet. Okay. But um, it's the I did recently find out that things tend to dead end in other zones, but they don't for me because I'm a, a cave runner. Yeah. So That's what I was trying to tell you up, last time. Hmm? <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell you last time. Yeah, yeah. Glenn was like, sewers, and you're like, no. <laughs> 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 
We're not doing it without you. <laughs> that was also said last time. <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> I see. So you guys tried to go to the sewers without me. Not a smart move. Uh <laughs> true okay all right well we can go back to the sewers if you want to i get well, a very sad look on my face <laughs> oh disappointment we can we can rest first okay well, we probably want to do some good guy stuff given your mental <laughs> Sanity. He's fine. I go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> he, just, he just crashes in the chair, which they're very comfortable chairs and stuff. The owl headed guy comes over and takes the cigar and out of his mouth. And <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sleeping now. Yeah. It, yeah. Know. You just need eight hours of uninterrupted sleep and all is well. I know how I'm waking them up in the morning, though. Yes. So what do you two do? He appears to have just shut off for a while. He's uh, doing the... Uh, excuse me, do you have any rooms? Yes. Does the all had a guy, please follow me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He takes you into really nice rooms, very comfortable, big beds and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you see a couple of uh, rhinoceros-headed guys carrying a sleeping uh, um, a Smurf guy in a chair. Is it your <laughs> imagination, or does his skin look a little bit bluer? It's probably just the lighting, nothing to worry about. But they carry him off to a room, and they're going to put him to bed and stuff. That's great. Yeah. No, this, this place is very, very full service. It, it, it's kind of like being at a multi-millionaire's place where it's like he gives instructions to his staff, take care of all the Australians. So morning eventually comes. Uh, yeah, uh, everybody wakes up in their in their beds and stuff. Uh, you're, you're, unless you choose not to, you can wear the ridiculous uh, turn of the century uh, uh, striped pajamas with a night cap with the tassel ball in the end. Uh, Russ, that's how you wake up. You don't remember taking off your clothes and putting on those, but oh, cool! I've got I've got a Smurf hat now. You kind of do, actually. Cool. I just I leave that on and I mosey over and find Glenn's room. Uh huh. And then I cast the megaphone spell. Wake up, Glenn! <laughs> Go for it. And uh, it's a crit, so give me the next spell off the soundtrack. <laughs> uh, hold on a minute. Let me double check to make sure there is one before you spend your it's a crit card. Okay, cool. Sound. Let's see. There's nothing better than yelling at him. Oh, yeah, there is one. So, yes, you spend it on there. Uh, everybody's wide awake, including you, Dana, the household. Etc. So, um, right, you pick up the next spell, which I will copy paste and then read to the studio audience. How oh, cool! The next spell up is called Fake Noise, casting time one round, range ten meters, duration instantaneous. Magic point cost two. A small noise is made where the caster specifies. They can even specify a brief noise. This can be used to distract guards, irritate people, etc. It's the old, it's it's the throw a stone to distract the guards, but for a newer audience, so now you could have no. or something like that, you know. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's sweet. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not horribly overbalanced, but, and there is a spell above that as well, and then there are one, two, three, four, four to be determined, so you'll have to wait on those, but you can get the next one up from there. Okay, cool. So this is uh, tier three? Correct. Okay. So, there you go. You guys are all awake. Uh, the staff is awake. They begin preparing breakfast. 
they were a bit disappointed to be woken up a little bit ahead of normal schedule, but they are on it. You guys are served breakfast by the staff who looks like they'd be happy to help you get on your way. <laughs> mm hmm it's 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 good it, it's good old westy type food uh mixed with some of the it, it's it's a weird breakfast though because you've never been like served corn on the cob for breakfast but since it's kind of something <laughs> out here but not in the old world they're like corn on the cob and you're like yay <laughs> <laughs> And tobacco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we get it. We're in the new world. Yeah. We Beans. call it maize. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> tobacco. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Okay. Well. You guys are done with breakfast. You've gotten dressed, washed. Not in that order. You're ready to start your day with whatever it is you're going to be up to because Logan has no idea. <laughs> Rock. <clears throat> you hear the, the Elvish kids are talking to each other in Latin at the table. If anybody wants to make a Latin roll to see what's being said, they yes. can. Nope. Okay. Um... Nope. You only speak Hebrew, apparently. <laughs> And well, Latin, right? Yeah, that's a fumble on Latin. So one of the kids is one. like, I can't wait to skull fuck the bird. And the other kid's like, I agree. <laughs> Lovely. Mm -hmm. All right, well, well gentlemen, um, shall we be good guys? Sure, let's be good guys. I, I check on Hercule. Is he still asleep? He is not only uh, asleep, but limp. Right. Yeah. Mercule's lost his mojo. Maybe that's better. <laughs> um. Well, you guys want to check out the sewers? Well, he says motioning with his limp cock horse thing. And in its fur, it appears that at some point it has drooled on itself. Use your imaginations, but nobody's cleaned it. Mm -hmm. Sewers aren't going anywhere. I was wondering if you'd uh, uncovered any new plots, Rock. Well, um, you know, the Shadow Academy's disappeared. We spent most of the last couple of days sort of rescuing the brown AI from, uh, from his captors. Um, you guys have been to Shadespire Point. You have to tell me what happened there. Um, there are some elves out in the Redwood Forest that um, might be worth checking out, but um, that might be better for a solo because that's lots of stealth rolls. Um, <laughs> what are you saying, Rock? I'm saying, yeah, um, Rock has an odd feeling about the sewers. Okay. Um, you know, I, I've got a funny feeling about those sewers. I'm not saying I'm not saying to go. There's a lot of Irish shit you can do, but mm -hmm. I'm just mentioning it. Somebody dumped a bunch, a bunch of rotten meat and shit on top of the uh, statue in the um, in the square in Gothic, and um, um, Sherlock Holmes had the idea of maybe checking out the butcher's shop to see if that's where they got the rotten meat from. Um, Wait, and then there's that wooden bridge that I've always wanted to check out that scares the living crap out of us in the sewers. There's uh, an actual Sherlock Holmes? Um, Josh? Josh. He's also known as Sherlock Holmes. Really? Yeah. How unoriginal. <laughs> well, Holmes is his nickname. That's what I was trying to tell you guys before. Uh -huh. Ah, you're trying to tell us Josh and not the sad robot. Right, well, we, we got them from Josh because Josh was the one who bought them and, uh, and knew about them, but we also got them from the sad robot. 
who can apparently sell them to anybody. So we may have a problem here. Yep. No, I thought you were working on a new insanity. Nope. He has them all planned out. The pantomime makes way more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing what a good night's sleep will get you. <laughs> so, um, so are we going to do the Smurf or the Smurf? Hmm. I wonder if uh, your sewer powers still function in uh, with with your horse. Asleep. Yeah, they do. I, we tried that. Yeah, they they oh. still work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Because there should have been a dead end in red carpet when we headed over to the, the city, and um, and there wasn't. And um, my healing power still works. So I basically my god is um, he's unconscious, and he's locked in a statue because someone poured a bunch of quickcrete over the water that he's made of. Hmm. Um, it, and, it's pretty um, funny. We, we put him into a, a large body of water and, and left him there. So okay. hopefully no one will be able to, to figure out that he's down there. And um, at the very least, he'll be somewhat safe, unless they've got some kind of brown AI tracking system, in which case he's fucked. But um, Wouldn't you want to, like, get him out of the statue? We couldn't figure out how to do that, so. Hmm. Russ, an odd thing is going on. There's there's a uh, uh, fish that was brought as part of breakfast. It's dead and cooked and all that. Mm -hmm. but it's still got the eye in it because people like leaving the heads on fish for some fucking reason. And anytime you look at it, you think, there's been a murder. And you don't know why. Hmm. And it's looking at you with its sad, black, dead eye. You two notice he seems to be wanting some of the fish, but he's not speaking up for it. <laughs> Just keeps glancing at it like, I could have had that. But instead, I got corn on the cob. <laughs> okay. Very interesting. Um... No, I'm not going to blow that. <laughs> <laughs> he just sits there going. He looks unsettled. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, it would appear that the whole uh, the whole brown AI situation is, is is still somewhat unresolved. So we may want to go back to red carpet and, and investigate the sewers and see uh, see what's happening. Do I still feel like my healing powers still work, Logan? Uh, you don't know. There's yeah. only one way to find out. Cut yourself, yeah. Okay. Or you can cut one of the other two. Or yeah, the kid or the bird or whatever. The bird's just eating its seed and keeping an eye on all of you guys like Hey, ahoy. How you doing? Hey. Um, yeah, so... Um, Bert, you were supposed to teach me air magic. You were supposed to suck my cloaca, it says. <laughs> He's got you there, Glenn. <laughs> I, I think you're mistaken. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it attempts to teach you its air magic. Aha. Teaching suck. Oh my god, it made it. Yeah. And now the spell, which it's better at, but still not great. Oh my oh, yeah. god. You know air magic. Apparently, yeah. Any, anybody who want anybody who doesn't already have it has picked it up at, at the table. That's odd. Okay. Bird was as surprised as you guys. <laughs> tell us tell us what the spell is, Logan, so we can write it down on our sheets of spells. I am going to copy paste it like all the other times. No Thank smell. Yep. Use. No smell. Casting time around. Range self duration an hour. Two magic point cost. Quick. Thanks, and Bird. Easy. Thank you, Bird. I've been failing to teach them that for <laughs> months. 
Hmm. It's a tricky thing, says the bird ruffling his feathers. Yes. You would need an expert teacher. And both the elven kids roll their eyes. And the, uh, the Alex Kinley Jr. goes, would you like a hug? And the bird's like, you could fuck right off. <laughs> <laughs> everybody goes back to eating. You notice everybody gives uh, Alex Kinley Jr. some room. But uh, he is dressed the same as the Elvish kids. Uh, in like the, they're all wearing like uh, very Australian uniforms, like uh, Australian flag and stuff on them. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, over the top Australian stuff. And their hats are the the wide brimmed ones with all the balls hanging off of the ends, <laughs> or corks. Sorry, yeah. corks. Yeah. You know, just picture a cartoon. <laughs> is those, that what uh, we're seeing? Those protecting Brilliant. the drop bearers, right? They all nod. Logan, I believe that puts me into the 200 magic point range. Got it. Uh, if you were to add up all the spell percentages of all the spells you have, I mean approximately, then if you have over 200, then um, in one place, it makes a small difference. Oh. Yep, I'm over uh, 200. Pretty sure I've got that. Cool. If you get to that place, then uh, you'll get to see the difference it makes. If you don't, then you'll just have that feeling deep inside of you that you are superior to others. I've got, like, a lot more than that. You feel more superior to others. Have you, <laughs> have you, have you beaten 500? I, I think so. Okay. I'll let you figure out what's going on while the others drive. Because if you've beaten 500, then you are more special. Oh, yeah. If you've beaten 1,000, then you are fucking super special. But I don't think you're quite there yet. But if you've beaten 500, then yeah, other shit happens. Needy. Well, in a certain place. Good <laughs> luck with adding. Not suck fast. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually feeling that... Um... First of all, it feels like somebody died horribly. I don't know why, but I've got this terrible sense that there's been murder. And um, yeah, I think we should go back to Blue Carpet and, um, <laughs> and check out the uh, check out the Smurf holes there. So now we're slipping Blue in as well. <laughs> Oh, there's a whole bunch of, yeah, it's, I'm even wearing a blue shirt today, which, you know, who could have guessed? When, 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 right, Russ, Rock. when Russ starts playing in blue face paint, face paint, we'll know we have broken him. <laughs> yes. And I'll get a refill too, if he plays the whole game in blue face paint. That's lovely. Uh -huh. <laughs> 987. Close. Yeah. Close. Wow. He's all, you're almost at 1,000? Yeah. Yikes. You're a master caster. Okay. Yeah. I've got like four entire trees at learn. That's most of the points. <laughs> okay. You are, you are extra special going for Mega Mucho special. I don't know what it does, though. Not yet. Isn't Not that yet. life? <laughs> yeah. I know I'm special. So, yeah, I also have a, um, a vehicle back at Red Carpet that I'd like to garage somewhere if I can. Um, Not in my place. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um of course, there's a war going on in red carpet, so that might not be the best place to go. But um, that is the best best place to go to explore the um, the sewers. Yeah, if we can get to the sewers undetected, then it should be uh, fine. I mean, you you are in uh, 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 the San Angeles thing here. You could technically go into the sewers here. Oh, that's and, right. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, you are the sewer king. That's true. That's true. Okay. I know you keep forgetting that, and you're thinking you're the Smurf king, but that is just the effect of too many Smurf penises. Yes, yes. Or peni, or whatever they're called. I don't know. So, 
really? Penises would be appropriate there, I believe. So. Uh, Peni is a word. No. Uh, Peenies? Hmm. I think that's the flower. Ah. Dicks. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you you have uh, smoked you have smoked more Smurf cock than anybody else at the table, I believe. Which all of them are stubbornly at zero, but you you are in the <laughs> double or triple digits by now. So yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. So. Okay, so. You don't have a lead on any good guy stuff. That's no, I don't have a lead on any good guy stuff. Oops. Other than saving, other than saving the broad AI. That's debatable. Well, it's well, been guy. pretty good. He hasn't it's messed with anybody. Anyway. Might work. Okay, I'll do it. All right, let's do it. All right, so to the uh, to the San Angeles sewers, I ask the embassy about supplies. Yeah, we need to get go Uh The uh, girl, she apparently deals with supplies. Ah. Um, we'll need some <clears throat> food and water for adventuring. Right. And? And. That's it? But what are you saying, Rack? Uh, let's see. We need some light. Okay. Honestly, I'd rather go back to red carpet and get my spelunking gear, but, um, Pick up some go bags from red carpet. So food, water, light. Boots. boots. Nice, nice waterproof boots. Okay. Uh, pickaxes. Pickaxes? <laughs> <laughs> she looks at you and you're on crack. I thought you were exploring the sewers, not remodeling. Well, there's lots of places in the sewers where it's hard to get through and it can help to widen up the passages. Cave okay, right. She brings somebody to check out your guys' feet while you're at the <laughs> table so they can get you the appropriate size of the boots. So uh, here's, what you, here's what you get. Uh, you get beef jerky and uh, water skins, uh, five torches, two uh, old-timey lanterns. And when I say torches, I mean proper, like, medieval pitchfork-type torches, mm -hmm. um, suitable for discovering pockets of methane very easily. And <laughs> um, several uh, 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 lucky mining picks. You yeah. each have a mining pick. You feel like you may be in Minecraft now. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we should go back to red, red carpet and get some proper equipment. What's wrong with this, she says. <laughs> insulted. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Here, here's a blue kerchief, she says with the same kind of voice tone that somebody would say, now you can go fuck off. So she gives you the blue kerchief. We fuck off. All, All right. right. <laughs> so into the into the sewers here in this town, so that you can go to red carpet to get better gear. Or, wow. yeah, they're probably watching Clems. So, yeah, you think. Yep, yeah, I would think. Uh, so we'll try going through the sewers. No problem. Well, I have my sewer bag. Okay, so, that, that helps. Yeah, it's got some good stuff in it. So you got a light that doesn't set things on fire. Yeah, got some glow sticks. Okay. Those fail to explode sewers normally. Normally. <laughs> we'll find a way. No problem. Uh, you guys are heading through rock. Something is a little bit wrong. Give me a willpower times five in order to sewer walk. Something is wrong. It's like you're walking through spider webs. Uh, yeah, that's success. No problem. Eventually, you're, you're not sure where you are, but there's graffiti on the wall that says, Dagon will rise again. Oh. Hmm. You didn't come out quite where you expected, and you were hitting some unexpected resistance. Occult lore. 
Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no to me as well. Fumble. Both of you guys like dragons. You look at each other and go, dragon, dragon, misspelled, but still it's a good thought. Yes. They nod and smile. Does it still have the sign that says under construction down the hallway? Uh, you look that way and it appears to be a long, empty tunnel. No sign that says under construction. Oh, okay. Something wrong, Rock? Well, I was having a little trouble using my superpowers. Dun, 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 dun. Um, we went somewhere. Yeah. Um, I think we're in red carpet. Let me check that. I you know, cut myself and see if it heals. It does. It does. Yes. Pick card for a great way of doing it. Uh, it appears that Rock is also into self-injury. <laughs> self-injury, folks. Yeah, we're in red carpet, all right. He likes to smurf himself. Too. That's great. <laughs> God, um, there's some explosive gas not too far away from here. Um, and it looks like um, this was previously unexplorable down here, and now it is. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well... I don't know where we're at on my map, or probably never been here. Ooh. Well, plus when you explore with Sewer Boy, then the maps change a bit. Assuming well, his sewer powers yeah, are I've only I've only mapped with him in play. Mm. Right. Well, we're we're not too far off from modern built sewers. Okay. So if that gets you back to some place you're familiar with. Yeah, I've got modern sewers on my map. Uh huh. Are we by the old mine or the cemetery? Um We're not too far from the old mines, according to my map. Hmm. And just like that, you're back in the shit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, um, the bridge is by here, then, isn't it? The wood bridge? Or the stone bridge? I've got a bridge. Just okay. Bridge. 